All right, uh, I'm creating this video so I can show you how to upgrade your hard drive on your camcorder. The example I'm going to be using is the Sony SR10. Um, SR10 is a really good camcorder. I picked this one up on eBay for about 400 bucks recently. Uh, but the problem is, uh, this only can re uh, this only has a 40 gigabyte hard drive, which can record uh, only five hours of uh, HD. So as you can see here. Um, recording time is about 290 minutes okay uh, which is which is a lot but you know if you're going going away for a week and uh, you're not gonna have a laptop so you can transfer the video uh, it's not enough so here's what you need obviously you need the camcorder make sure it's fully charged you need a triple an or a number uh, zero 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 screwdriver you need a really small flathead and obviously you need a hard drive. This one uh, I also picked up online for roughly about uh, 70 bucks. This is an 80 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive. You want to stick with the Toshibas. Um, that's what Sony uses. I'm not sure whether or not they have uh, custom firmware on it, but uh, this is the Toshiba. Keep in mind, make sure this is flipped up. If you can see that right there. Um, you know, that's how it's it's a zip drive what they call it because it's zero force so there it's down what you do is you want to flip that up nice and easy there all right step one you want to remove the screws uh, at the bottom of the SR10 uh, let me make sure I get better light here so you can actually see okay there are actually a few screws you want to get into. Actually, I'm going to take off this battery here. Okay. So the screws, you, you're, we're going to open this part right here. Okay. So there's one here, one here, and one on top there. So can remove those like so. Oh, <laughs> drop that one. Definitely be careful with these small screws because once they fall on the floor, they are a pain to find. There's screw number two, if you can see it. At this point, you just want to go ahead and get the strap out the way because we're going to need to open the camcorder in a bit so you can. Like so. Okay, the next screw is right in there. You want to remove that one. Remove them slowly and carefully. You don't want to ruin the thread on these. Okay. We're almost done. This is the fourth screw right there it's towards the uh, opening there it's getting nice and slow okay see it's already opening up okay open up slowly you'll hear things crack this this part here I'm gonna gently pull that out okay I'm going to gently pull this thing out here, but there's a screw right there, so be careful. They're all the same screw, so don't worry about mixing those up, okay? There's the hard drive. Okay, the hard drive is protected with a uh, rubber piece you can see right around here, which is a really nice feature. Uh, what you want to do is you want to lift this away but don't pull it it goes this way see all right that's the front of the camcorder you want to lift it and pull it this way okay next step let's disconnect the hard drive and install the new drive okay first you want to remove the rubber piece of the hard drive like so okay you want to remove it nice and easy do not pull once again, if you're really not sure what you're doing, don't do it. Because you might break something. But it's pretty easy. Okay? Next, 
It's that ziff. Remember that flippy thing I, I showed you? Let me show you on camera here, a little closer. That black thing right there, it's going across. Don't yank on it, don't pull it. This is a ziff type hard drive. So what we want to do is, remember that flathead I told you to get? Okay? You want to get that right under there. Just want to flip it up, okay? Nice and easy. There, there it went, see? Nice and easy. You want to gently wiggle it out. You see that? There it is. Okay? Same thing here. You want to gently wiggle. This is the tricky part here, guys. Tricky part. You want to take this and you want to make sure it's flipped up, though. See? Mine's flipped up. That black part. This is down, up. Okay, you want to wiggle that. Right in there. Okay. Oh, I had it, but don't push too far. Okay, you see it? Then just take your fingers, push that down. Your next question is, well, how do I know that it's fully down? Well, it doesn't really click. It's nice and secure. All right, so let's put back the rubber piece. Okay, got that snapped back in. Then you want to take that screw, put it back in. Not too tight though. These are smaller screws, just tight enough so that if need be, you can uh, open the, this thing up again. Okay, this snaps back in, so don't be afraid to put some force on it. See, everything snaps back in nicely. I'm gonna put back the screws for this one. One last screw. And the reason why I use the 80 gigabyte hard drive is because the 120 gigabyte hard drives were a little uh, expensive on uh, eBay. I think at the time they were like a little over 130 bucks. I mean, you could find them cheaper if you look around, but um, I just I just needed 80 gig. This should be able to provide me with at least you know eight hours, about four hours additional. I keep in mind when. Uh, formats itself you do lose some space you don't really well you don't lose space but it has to format the drive not sure what type of partition it uses you can see here I just turned it on it says a hundred and ninety minutes alright I know it's the same as the old one but we have to format the drive so you want to go to home you want to click on that icon you want to go to media format and you want to go to hard drive and it's going to take about 17 seconds let's go to yes and I am sure it's probably doing a quick format not a zero right but that's okay I think uh, hopefully the camcorder has an algorithm to uh, remove bad sectors as it goes along I hope Okay, it's completed. Click OK. And there you go. 585 minutes. It's that simple, folks. There you have it.